mean to tell me? Black women are out here sleeping with black men that they don't respect, they don't listen to, they don't think it's worthy, they don't think it's a manly man. Get you sleeping with him? He ain't all these things, but you. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, hope you subscribe. So, today I got a video by your favorite panda bear, the newest panda bear that seems to be on the ride. Mr. Yada, uh, whatever I call him, um, Yada Bop, a doo Bop, a Dop, Bam, Boom, but um, whatever this guy's name is, I know y'all recognize him. He's been on the scene recently. And <laughs> who I want y'all to hear <coughs> what this man had to say about men who don't date single moms. Check this out. Should men get involved with women that have children? Those statements only come out the mouth of failures, out the mouth of bums, out the mouth of men that don't know how to be fathers, husbands, and leaders. When a man has reached his full potential, he can lead a camel through the eye of a needle. A real man doesn't fear challenges. A real man doesn't overlook a good woman just because she has children. A good man will say, baby, I'm going to take care of you. And if their father ain't doing nothing, I'm going to take care of them too. These bums, these weak men, these jealous men, these envious men that leave women praying that they don't rise without them and their children don't realize how bummy they are. When they get around a real man, a real man shows and forms on each and every level, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and financially. And the man's going to tell that woman, I know I didn't bring these children to the world with you, but I'm going to raise them. Look, you don't have to call me daddy for me to handle my daddy responsibilities, especially if your father ain't handling his. And guess what? We're not going to talk bad about your father. He just might be going through some hard things. But me, I'm going to make sure you, you don't have to worry about nothing no more. Follow me because I first followed myself. Baby, I love you. And I love everything that comes with you. All praise is due to the most high. And all these men say, no, no wealthy man would say something like that. Ask Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos got with a woman right now that has multiple children. We got to get into death to these weak men. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Finish him. Man, I know you ain't talking with your teenage mutant ninja turtle without the shell looking ass on somewhere, man. <laughs> Who the fuck are you to sit over here and wish death on somebody and call them weak just because they don't want to be a fucking stepdad? How dare you? How dare you? I, I'm so damn serious now. Like, bro, it's one thing to sit over here and pan to, the, to these women. But it's another thing to sit over here and wish death upon men just because they don't want to be a damn stepdad. I tell you what, man, you and Boyce Watkins should do a podcast together, man. Y'all would make a killing the way y'all pander to these single moms. Get the fuck out of here with this shit, bro. I'm talking about some weak men, man. And then you want to mention Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is like one of the top 10 richest men in the, in the world. You're gonna compare him to other wealthy men. And even if that is the case, y'all are wealthy men. Y'all can act, y'all got more money than y'all know what to do with. Of course, y'all don't mind taking that loss. Most men are not millionaires and billionaires. Most men are not gonna be able to take that loss if it does happen. And these women have proven over and over and time and time again to be selfish. So they'll take what they can get from you before they leave. Fatality. Let's keep it moving, man. Hey, nobody wants to date single moms. How we all got boyfriends? Somebody is lying on this app because I will have my daughter in my arms and I will have somebody come ask me out. And I'll just be like, oh, well, like, you know, I got a kid, right? And they're like, all right, cool. What kind of snacks you like? Who gonna tell her? Who gonna tell her? <laughs> It's very simple. I don't want to work, but I do it. 
want not wanting to do something and having to do something is two different things. If you don't have the option of doing what you really want, you're going to do things that you don't really want to do because it's the only option. Someone dating you because you have a single kid, I mean, because you're a single mother and you have a kid and that may not be their best choice, but you may be attractive enough to say, hey, I got to do what I got to do. I got to get some ass. And we already know you're giving up ass because you got a fuck trophy. <laughs> what it really comes down to, ma'am, is that you're attractive enough. That, that's really what it really comes down to. Because when I first saw her, I was like, damn, she's actually really attractive. But after seeing what it was about, I was kind of like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, that makes sense. You know, men, if you're attractive enough, there are men out there that will deal with you and put up with you even though you have the child. But don't but don't think that's going to translate to taking you seriously or marriage. Just, just be mindful of that, all right? So don't really think this is a flex because it's not. Let's keep it moving. I just got served. My baby daddy's taking me to court. Like a sheriff came to my door and served me with this right here because I didn't let him see the kids. And at this point, I'm just tired. Because I know it's his little girlfriend, Ashley, that's behind this shit. Because ever since he got with her, he's been filing motion after motion after motion. And I'm here to tell both of you, because I know they're watching. Look at what I'm going to do with this. That. Because one thing is to not like me. And another thing is to try to drag me to court over some false allegations. Y'all really have been trying it. And the only reason why I didn't let the kids go over there is because I know you don't like me. And I'm never going to allow my kids to be around people who don't like me. Because if you don't like me, how can you like my kids? If you don't like me, how can I know that my kids are safe under your care? Listen, all that kid back and forth, baby mama drama stuff, that's crazy. I don't understand it. I'm not going to act like I understand it. But I just do need y'all to understand. First of all, if you're served with papers, don't just throw them. Go to court, handle that. You can't be passive when it comes to court. You're going to lose whatever someone served anyway. Secondly... Don't call them false allegations and then in the same video admit that you didn't let your children go see their father when they were supposed to go see their father. Because you don't like the girlfriend. You see how she how she did that? I didn't let them go over there because I know she doesn't like me. No, you didn't let them go over there because you don't like her. Stop the cap. People get on. Y'all just get online and tell on yourself. That's stupid. That's so stupid. You stupid. I was thinking the same thing, like, hold on, you just told on yourself. That wasn't real smart if that's if that's what you're going to go with. And here's my thing, too, because she wanted, she wanted to try to play it like she doesn't like me. Uh, we all knew that was false. And even if that was true, it could be linked over to the fact that you're giving your baby's father a hard time seeing the kids. Because I always found this funny that women go through this yet at the same time women complain about men not being in, the, in their children's lives but if that reigns so true then we should never have to hear stories like this now should we? when we, i think we all can agree on that male and female if that was so true we should never see stories like this where a man is over here fighting to see have time equal time with his kids at that Let's keep it moving. Women don't want a good man until they are damaged. Good guys are never an option until a woman is tired of being played. Until she has kids with a guy that doesn't want anything to do with her. Until she's getting old. Until she wants a stepfather for her child. Until she wants a husband. Early in life, most women chose the wrong guys. And then after those guys spit them out, now they want a good man. The same good man they thought was born. The same good man they didn't want to talk to. Understand something. The whole page is real. If a woman is still going through that, you as a good man will never touch her. You will only touch her after that, and that can be 10 years later. Good guys deal with damaged women. Bad guys get the best years. Good guys deal with women with insecurities, women with trauma, women with anger, women with babies. I don't know who this sister is, but she went off on this post. Yeah, but did she lie, though? Where's the lie in that? Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all, deuces.